Dr. May, thank you for being with us today and talking about ACC 17. You have some exciting research uh, trials that will be presented at ACC. Tell us a little bit about the one that involves your look at depression and poor outcomes for patients with coronary artery disease. Yeah, so we did a study that looked at patients with heart okay. disease and then their association with poor outcomes, in particular mortality. And we found that patients um, had an increased risk of mortality if they had a depression diagnosis uh, sometime after their heart disease um, diagnosis. So they had a twofold increased risk of death. And this was the biggest predictor of any um, other risk factor, including age, sex, um, diabetes, Hyper blood pre high mm. blood pressure and any other uh, clinical finding, depression was the strongest risk factor for this poor outcome. Did this finding surprise you? It surprised me in that it was the strongest predictor over any of other the, the classic clinical um, risk factors. Where do you go next with this information, with the findings that you have discovered in this trial? Um, I think it re really reinforces the need for clinicians to screen for depression. Sometimes the thought is, okay, it's been three, six, one year since their mm -hmm. diagnosis of heart disease. If they haven't had depression yet, um, it's okay. We found that over half the patients um, in this study were diagnosed with depression three years after their heart disease diagnosis. So it really reinforces the need for a continual monitoring of those depression symptoms. That's great. Well, thank you so much. We appreciate you being here. You're welcome.